Republican Florida governor, Ron DeSantis's press secretary, Christina Pushaw got in a bit of hot water over the last couple days after sending out multiple tweets, um, either downplaying. And at one point almost looked like she was defending the several groups of neo-Nazi protesters, if you want to call them that, that, uh, made their presence known over the weekend here in the state of Florida. Now, in case you're not familiar with what happened, uh, in several different areas across the state over several different days, starting last Friday, uh, several neo-Nazi groups of people did little demonstrations. They, they brought out their Nazi memorabilia. They had their flags with the Nazi, uh, uh, swastika on them. They made some of their own. Some of them were, you know, clearly purchased, but, uh, yeah, it was pretty grotesque to see this happening. Lawmakers across the state, local and state level spoke out against this. As of Monday, Ron DeSantis himself had not condemned any of this. And his spokesperson, Christina Pushaw on Sunday decided to weigh in on everything in a series of tweets that have now been deleted, of course, because they were so incredibly terrible. The first tweet she sent said this, do we even know they're Nazis or is this a stunt like the white nationalists who crashed the Yunkin rally in Charlottesville and turned out to be dim staffers? I trust Florida law enforcement to investigate and I'm awaiting their conclusions. Um, I believe it was actually the Lincoln project, uh, that did that. And as, as we remember, those are actually conservatives. Um, and I told y'all a long time ago, not to trust those people been saying it for actually years and years that the Lincoln project shouldn't be trusted. So those actually weren't actually Democrats. Those were, you know, put together by whatever, but sure. It was a stupid stunt. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this was not that though. And then there was another tweet and this one's absolutely disgusting because this one shows these Nazi ralliers on an overpass actually near Disney world, very crowded area around Orlando, uh, where they draped their flags over the overpass. One of them was a handwritten sign that said, let's go Brandon, Brandon, not Brandon, because they couldn't figure out how to spell Brandon. And then it had two swastikas spray painted on either side of let's go Brandon. Somebody tweeted that out and said only a dumb Nazi could mess up Brandon. Pushaw responded and said, so if you criticize the president, you're automatically a Nazi. I don't think that's how it works. See, that's a little bit of a defense, right? Because I mean, you can see in the picture, it's right next to an actual professional Nazi flag. Okay. This wasn't, we're not, we're not speculating anything. I mean, these people are actually using Nazi imagery so yes, it's okay to call them Nazis. This isn't a political disagreement. They're telling us who they are and what they stand for. Uh, Christina Pushaw has never been accused by anyone of being good at her job. Okay. I'm sure DeSantis probably thinks she's doing a great job because she takes a lot of the heat off him because she is so painfully bad that people focus on her instead of Ron DeSantis. You know, it's kind of like how Donald Trump did when he was in office, you know, between Sean Spicer and Sarah Huckabee Sanders and then Kaylee McEnany, those people would go out and say all the stupid things. And then everybody's attention would go over there and Trump could do his own stupid stuff. Christina Pushaw appears to be doing the same thing down here in the state of Florida by being so incredibly incompetent that sometimes it manages to take the heat off DeSantis himself.